some other crap, man. This is like an hour and a half. The last hour, hour and a half. Golly, man. So they're calling for like four to five inches here tonight. Just got the truck back. Stop licking the snow. This dog's crazy. So anyway, we just got our truck back. We had the problems with the, the sensor, DEF pressure sensor. And wouldn't you know what the problem was? Just a clogged, clogged DEF line. That's all it was. And he said the check engine light came on because obviously it derated. But he, he took the lines out. And as soon as he put the lines back in, everything cleared out. So, but he said he did pull that sensor out and check it out and there wasn't nothing in there because, you know, obviously the DEF pushes it through that, through there and there wasn't nothing there. So, that's a good thing. <laughs> but we did the, uh, so they did the inspection. And wouldn't you know, since they couldn't really get me for nothing because it was just a clogged line, they had to get me on the DOT inspection. Which was a no big deal. They suggested that I change out my uh, cabin air filter and uh, cabin air filters and my air filter. It's like 58 bucks. So we lost a whole day sitting around. So, kind of sucks, just for that. Kind of upsets me because they could have done all that and I could have been out in here first thing in the morning if they would have done, got my truck in, but you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll finish this up tomorrow morning. Because we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night and take it easy because there ain't no reason to get out in this. So, we'll talk to you guys in the morning. Springfield, Ohio. We gotta get to. I don't know where are we going? Hold on a second. Oh, SJ. There we go. Toma. SJ. Toma, Wisconsin. About 570 miles. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't take the load off me. Last night I sent them a message and said that, you know, that they're expecting like three to five inches of snow. Which was pretty dang true, and uh, yeah, they wanted to know what time I was going to be leaving. So well, I can't give you a time because you know, if it doesn't look safe to me, then I'm not leaving. Yeah, you know, just just the way it is. And uh, so we left here now. It's about 6:45 now. The sun will be coming up here soon, <clears throat> but uh. I just left and left the terminal. Our terminal is like right across the street. So I just came over here real quick. Get a little bit of fuel. Get a little bit of coffee. Get down the road. And uh, all of a sudden it starts snowing again. So, But I looked on the weather bug app and, you know, other weather apps and everything. And uh, like all last night, like all the roads were like orange and red. Because I got to go... 70 through Indianapolis up 65 then dump me off on the 80 you know yeah so that's gonna be looks like they got a lot of snow last night then um this morning everything was all green again so so 
hopefully those guys did a pretty good job last night getting everything clear so we're gonna head up inside real quick get something to drink so we can get down the road See if we can find an empty. Man. What's going on? We, uh, man. <laughs> We're in Oakdale, Wisconsin. This loves. We're going to pick up tomorrow morning in Arcadia, Wisconsin. And, uh, or we just dropped off to have the empty, so I gotta come back in the morning. So instead of waiting for tomorrow, I just, I opted to get fuel now. Golly, man. Right now it's, it's five below outside. That was, that was hard. Man, I don't even know how to, to even explain this. It just, uh, fingers are like tingling even I got gloves on you know now I feel bad for Leia it's like I gotta take her outside and earlier we took her outside and uh she wasn't too happy about that now I gotta take her out again but uh gosh man this is not this ain't cool man so we uh we got pick up in Arcadia and uh, it's actually going to California. Uh, Con Connor Concord? No. Colton. It's like right east of Los Angeles. So as soon as we get this pickup, we're like dead south, man. And then I'll just hitch over west. But uh, man, this this is crazy here. Since tonight, it's supposed to get like uh, like 12 below. <laughs> I was gonna go inside take a shower. I don't think that's a good idea right now. Probably just wait till tomorrow afternoon. But uh, let me go take her outside and uh, catch up here in just a minute. What's going on? We're in uh, our shipper, Arcadia, Wisconsin. Local temperature has a cool 13 below zero. Golly, man. Freaking cold, man. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, probably go a little bit farther up here. There's like ice all up on top of the truck. All down there. Oh, gosh. Oh. I gotta go back inside. Oh, this is crazy. It's cold, Leia. Ooh. Ooh. Man. This is. Oh, uh, man. Look like, like Rudolph or something. Damn. But uh. Got this loaded up. It says we're going to California by Tuesday. It's Saturday morning. That's gonna be a push. Do the best we can. We'll see what happens. But tonight we're gonna get into get in Nebraska somewhere. We go like through Nebraska, down through Colorado, 
I think we'll probably cross right through Vegas, actually. <sighs> then that'll win. If they don't split it off. Hopefully they don't. Like you said, it was like 1,900 miles, so that'd be sweet. It'd be even more sweet if I could finish it before a cutoff. But... <clears throat> I keep saying how cold it is. <laughs> oh well. But uh we got it loaded up. I was gonna finish finish the pre-trip right quick. I just gotta run around and check everything again. It's uh it's hard to do your pre-trip when it's just cold man. You can only go outside for like a couple minutes. I was watching a guy down down over here a little ways and he was basically doing the same thing. And I, I watched him like he kind of go around a little bit of the truck and like two minutes later he was back in the truck and you get back out do a little bit more get back in the truck <laughs> this is probably like the third time I've, I've came in the truck here so uh, so we're just gonna go around check all of our tires right quick I think it's the only thing left I got to do we already checked our lights it's all sealed up I already checked the fifth wheel. Yeah. Get locked in. We're good to go. Check in here just a little bit. Loves here. Take a little break. Get a little bite to eat. Fill up some coffee. Got my new Stanley mug for Christmas. That thing is sweet. We uh trying to get in Nebraska. We got about uh, 300, 330 miles. We got about for five hours or 45 minutes, so we should be good. Uh, pretty easy day, man. No traffic on the road. I think the traffic will start to pick up now. Being New Year's Eve and everything, people are going to start moving around now, so we're going to drive for a little bit longer. Try to get to those loves and shut down and stay off the road tonight, man. Amateur night tonight. <laughs> Don't want to be on the road with these guys. Ugh. But uh, get us a quick bite to eat and uh, get lay a little bit of food so we can finish our day. Aurora, where are we going? Aurora, Nebraska. Check in these little white guys. Man, good day today, man. Not a lot of traffic out there, but uh, traffic did start to pick up. Like probably like the last three hours, I was driving. People starting to move around, going to parties and all that crap. But we're done for the night now. Just almost eight o'clock, and uh, drove up to about I think I had like 28 minutes left on my clock. So <clears throat> put in 635 miles today. That's good. We. Uh, not sure where we'll end up tomorrow. I gotta look and we'll figure that out tomorrow morning. But uh, we're at the uh, Bosselman Travel Center, Grand Island, Nebraska. <clears throat> I think it's like a pilot or something like that. It's got like 400 parking spots. I drove by this place a couple times and I never stopped. But uh, pretty cool, man. They got like a pretty good sized restaurant in there. You know, you know, Subway, Little Caesars. They got like an ice cream place. It was like sweet. You know, that'd be okay. Man, an ice cream would be cool if it wasn't freaking like 10 below zero outside. Uh, got me some Little Caesars. So there's this little uh, 
like four piece lunch deals. It's like five bucks for like four pieces of pizza and like a soda. <clears throat> and the lady gave me two of them because I guess they were closing early. So I got lunch for tomorrow. Cool. And, uh, but uh, we're just going to relax the rest of the night. Hope you guys had a good New Year's for everybody that's on the road. Hope you guys stay safe. Stay off the roads. Amateur night tonight. <laughs> Me and Leah are just going to kick back here tonight. Take it easy. And uh, maybe watch an episode of The Ranch. I like that show. It's on Netflix. Pretty cool. Check it out. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to finish it here. From Grand Island, Nebraska. Catch you guys tomorrow. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys down the road.